तो ऑफिशियली वी आर स्टार्टिंग सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स एस एस टू इज ऑर्गेनाइजिंग एन एलोकेशन कॉम्पिटिशन ऑन द टॉपिक इनोवेटिव सोल्यूशन टू एनविरोमेंटल इश्यू दिस प्रोग्राम इज अ पार्ट ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेंस ऑफ स्वच्छता पखवाड़ा इंस्ट्रक्टेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया आई होप all of you will find it an exciting opportunity to present your views on environmental issues and their sh- solutions shri b uh, vp vergis and shrimati geeta nayar have consented to be the guest of this competition children please give a big hand to these strong pillars of acs to mumbai i should hear it louder no i can't hear you please louder yes thank you thank you children Coming to the rules and regulations of the competition. Uh, again, uh, Shoria, I'll just clear it. Each participant will be given a time limit not exceeding three minutes, and after two minutes, will be a warning will be be given. And presentation of topic should be focused on the following points like contents, greeting, and introduction of the subject, quotations, conclusions, oratory skills, presentation skills, that is eye contact, voice modulation, fluency, the clarity of thought, and your confidence. These all factors are very important. uh the participant should not be reading the speech from any sources use of flash cards is permitted but only for reference of outline and keywords or points now the participants should keep their videos on during the entire competition parents guardians also will invigilate their watch no malpractice should take place at the time of competition and the decision of the judges will be final so with this we begin our competition so we'll start with six standard dar sharma dar show to you yes sir good morning to one and all plastic we can find plastic everywhere from the drains to the roads and everywhere we can find the plastic we find plastic because people use it why do they use it they use it because it is an easy and convenient method for use it is a non biodegradable object so it takes for uh, it takes centuries for the plastic and the polythene to decompose so we should instead of uh, using a plastic bag we should always take a jute or a cloth bag when we go to the market eh? for our uh, daily purposes um it also affects the marine life because the people they uh, do not throw their plastic and polythene in the dustbin instead they sometimes throw it in the oceans and sea water which directly affects the marine life it affects the marine life in many ways because some marine animals understand it as food and uh, swallow it it chokes their throat which kills them instantly so we should not uh, let the plastic go into the sea water instead we should use the four different methods which are used for plastic which are refuse reduce reuse and recycle first we should refuse the use of plastic and take a take the help of non bio uh, we should take the help of biodegradable things such as uh, and uh, such as we can use a uh, jute bag cloth bag etc uh, we should reduce the use of plastics which would uh, stop the accumulating plastic in the environment we should uh, recycle the plastic that comes to our homes by sending it to a scrap dealer which recycles the uh, plastic once again so that we can reuse it now we can reuse it by making a uh, different pods uh we can make different pots from plastic drinking bottles and we can use them in our homes uh, this will not allow the plastic to uh, uh, to throw here and there 
it enters also to our body because we when we eat the seafood such as fishes and marine animals who had uh, uh, eaten or swallowed any plastic then it can enter into our body and it can uh, indirectly or directly uh, affect us thank you darsh uh, very good our next participant is uh, shriyansh Good afternoon, teacher and friend. My name is Shyam Shrivastava. Today I will talk about global warming. So the first question that comes in my mind is, what is global warming? Due to industrial pollution and increase in CO2 concentration in atmosphere, the global annual temperature is increasing continuously. This increase in temperature leads to warmer climate, which is called global warming. The impact of global warming are harming people around the world in many ways. What causes global warming? Here I am talking about the factors behind global warming. One of them is greenhouse gases. Greenhouse gases in the atmosphere absorb and emit infrared radiation, showing the rate at which it can pass through the atmosphere and escape into space. Main greenhouse gas is CO2. Second is aerosols. Aerosols are scatter and absorb solar radiation. Last is solar and volcanic activity. It is also involved in increase of temperature in atmosphere. How global warming is linked to extreme weather? Scientists agree that Earth rising temperature are fueling longer and hotter heat waves, more frequent droughts, heavier rainfall, and more powerful hurricanes. The impact of global warming are being felt everywhere. Extreme heat waves have caused tens of thousands of deaths around the world in recent years. And an alarming sign of events to come, Antarctica has lost 4 trillion metric tons of ice since the 1990s. The rate of loss would speed up if we keep burning fossil fuel at our current speed. Some experts say causing sea level to rise several meters in the next 50 years. What are the effects of global warming? One of them is disappearing glaciers. Early snowmelt and several droughts will cause more dramatic short water shortage and continue to increase the risk of wildfires. Rising sea level. It will lead to even more ocean flooding. flooding. Forests, farms, cities will face trouble, some new pests, heat waves, heavy dumpers, and increased flooding. All of these can damage or destroy agriculture and fisheries. Destruction of habitats. It can cause the extinction of many species. What is the role of India to control global warming? India promises in policy to work on a generation of 40% of electricity from the renewable energy source only. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thanks, Riyansh. Uh, Vedant, are you ready? Towards the society which we live in. Nowadays, we are going through turbulent times when there are many environmental issues like sea level rising, uh, deforestation, pollution, along with that, many natural calamities like floods, droughts, and storms. Scientists are trying to find solutions for our own mistakes. Uh, uh, there are many solutions, to this, but the one which inspired me the most was made by an Indian engineer named Sonam Wangcho. He created artificial ice to bath from the streams in winter so that he could reduce the water scarcity in summer. Another acceptable uh, solution which is low cost and very effective is desalination technology through which we can turn sea water into drinkable water which is implemented in Israel. There are many solutions like this which can help us to protect this. Along with that, uh, this will help us to save our earth, uh, land, soil and air from us. Another uh, thing going on is solid waste management. There is a great project going on in Singapore where we can turn soluble waste into energy through large incineration plants. Along with that, nowadays there are many eco-friendly packagings going on instead of plastic. If we use all this, we can preserve our blue planet as it is. Thank you and have a nice day. Vedan from 6th Z. Good afternoon to all. I am Vedan Bosley from class 
Six Z row number eighteen. Today I will speak on global warming. The Earth is the most important resource for life. The Earth is home for food, food, water, air, and other needs. The most today all across the world, people are facing many changes. They include climate change, warming. And in cooling periods. So, these are the symptoms of global warming. We can defeat the global warming by keeping the fossil fuel in the ground, use less plastic, and try to use. Try to use. We can also try to use private vehicles instead of our own cars. Thank you. Vedant, uh, very good. Well tried. See, just think that this is only a stepping stone. You are in sixth standard, and there are many classes to go. So don't worry about that. Keep on trying like that. So, sir, shall we move to the next class? Yes. The next class is seventh standard. Shauri Abad. Yeah. Okay, sir. Is that? Yes. Yes. Good morning. Every, good afternoon, everyone. Today I'll be discussing about the topic innovative solutions. to environmental problems the earth is beginning to heave under the strain of overpopulation war and famine according to the united nations the ever growing global human population is ex- expected to reach 9.7 billion by 2050 and 11.2 billion by 2100 this will not only put increasing pressure on natural resources such as food and water that are essential to life but will also increase demand for everyday necessities such as energy housing and jobs to name a few as the world's population and the cities that support and accommodate this population continue to expand the natural world is coming under increased strain added to this is the pressure of climate change impacts which are becoming glaringly apparent everywhere we look The Natural Conservancy recently released a report, Challenges of 2070, which shares perspective from global leaders on the most pressing issues facing people on the planet. Some of the key challenges identified in the report include climate change. This needs to be addressed before it's too late. Sustainable food production. How do we feed a growing population? without clearing natural areas to expand existing agriculture or expand already overfished fisheries the road ahead won't be easy but by investing in nature we think we can find common ground solutions that are good for biodiversity good for uh, economy and good for people tesla a technology and design company up up for clean energy It is imperative that we tackle climate change head on by moving to a low carbon future and transition away to clean renewable sources or energy. Tesla, a technology and design company with focus on energy innovation, is on a mission to do just that. Launch state of the art electronic cars that do not comprise fluids, power of quality for carbon free monitoring. to solar roof tiles or and power banks that supply a home with uh, energy from the sun when it comes to our reforestation we can all do our part by planting trees in our own backyard school or community uh, expanded sustainable agriculture practices with population growth and climate change impacts such as drought and floods together with war and famine being on the increase food security is one of the greatest challenges human kind is facing 66% by 2050 to accommodate the needs of the growing po- urban population cities need to be developed with sustainability in mind region villages has taken up the challenge the company recently launched a pioneer development project that will feature integrated and resilient residential areas that are self sufficient providing the energy and food Uh, will be built in Almer, Netherlands, and therefore the company plans to explore the project across northern Europe. Thank you. Thank you, Shaurya.
We'll go to the next participant, uh, Atharva. Go ahead. Hello everyone, I'm Atharva Ashpur from Class 7 Tua and today I will talk about some environmental issues. The earth is almost covered with 30% of forest. Deforestation is the act of cutting down trees on a very massive scale. But what is what are the causes of deforestation? The first major driver is agriculture. Farmers need more land to plant their crop, so they burn down forests to get more land. Another major driver is logging. Logging is the making of furniture and paper from wood. There are various natural causes as well, such as uh, wildfires, etc. And but why should we care about deforestation? What will happen with deforestation? For first of all, we will lose a lot of natural biodiversity. Around 80% of all the plants and animal species on Earth live in forest. If we cut down trees, then they will lose their natural habitat and may become extinct. There is a second reason, uh, there is a second way of this and that is um, excessive CO2 in atmosphere. When trees are felled, they release their stored carbon into the atmosphere, which turns into carbon, which turns into carbon dioxide. Also, during photosynthesis, carbon dioxide is taken in and oxygen is given out. So if there are lesser trees, then less, less photosynthesis, photosynthesis will, be, will take place and so there will be a lot of CO2 in the atmosphere. And CO2 is a greenhouse gas, which means if there is more CO2, then the earth will be more um, warm. If the earth is more warm, then all the glaciers will melt, which will start to melt. This will cause um, the tides to go up and it will disturb some currents such as the Gulf current. It will also flood um, low-lying areas. So, how, how, what can we do to prevent all of this? First of all, we need to plant more trees. If there are more trees, then there will be more photosynthesis as CO2 in the atmosphere. We also have to use natural resources in a limited manner and try not to um, throw in a lot of CO2 in the atmosphere. So we can conclude that uh, deforestation and global warming are both very hazardous to our uh, climate and our earth. And to prevent them, we need to use limited resources in a limited manner and we should plant more trees and we should not use, uh, we should not throw a lot of CO2 in the atmosphere. Thank you. Good, uh, Tharva. Our next participant is Shreyan Tripathi. Using plastic is very much drastic. Avoiding it makes it fantastic. A very good afternoon to one and all. Myself, Shreyan Tripathi, and today I am going to mention a few innovative solutions to end plastic pollution. The use of plastic is deeply embedded in our daily lives, in everything from grocery bags and cutlery to water bottles and sandwich wrap. Plastic has become one of the most used substances and people are using it endlessly just for their comfort. But we need to become aware of the consequences so that we can stop plastic pollution. The most harmful type of plastic pollution is the single-use plastic, also known as the disposable plastic. These are made at a very low cost. Hence, they are the most widely used product today. Single-use plastics include plastic bags, polythene, straws, plastic glass, reduce, reuse and recycle. Whenever we go out for shopping, we should always carry with us a cotton or a jute bag instead of asking for a polythene in the store. We should switch to using steel containers instead of plastic tiffins, bottles, etc. Many decorative items can be made from plastic waste and it can be used to beautify certain places like gardens, home, offices and many more. Recently, a lot of cities are also becoming conscious and are using melted plastic mixed with silicon to make roads which are sustainable. Also, many brands are turning to using plastic from bottles to make clothes, shoes, etc. A lot of people are also making outstanding innovations to recycle and reuse plastic. For example, a startup in Africa is making bricks out of plastic, which are both cheap and sustainable. Also, one company in India called Thali is using polythene bags and plastic bottles to make fashionable sneakers. Lastly, I would like to say that in order to save our blue planet from the dangers of plastic, which take more than a thousand years to degrade, 
we need to balance and gradually ever to this in our daily life. Thank you. Great, Shreya. Now we go to the next participant. Uh, that's uh, from 8th standard, Parvani Patil. Hello, my name is Parvani Patil and currently I am studying in class 8x. Today, I want to express my opinions on nature and some important topics related to it. Now, uh, nature is the uh, own uh, nature is the food we are in our daily life. We, uh, uh, we read it in newspaper and anywhere around us. It is a part of our daily life. You all are listening to me because I am a and it is the only reason why you all are listening to me. It is the only reason why I am speaking in front of you all. And finally, it is the reason why we all are living, uh, we are, uh, you all are alive. So, but I, uh, I have a question. Are we paying enough attention to nature nowadays? No, we aren't. Instead, we are unknowingly harming and polluting our nature. There are many problems occurring because of this, like global warming, air and water pollution, deforestation, etc. But you all must have a question. Are there any ways in which we can all stop all these problems? Yes, there are many ways in which we can stop these problems. Mm -hmm. Like, we can use public transport instead of traveling as a uh, traveling in our vehicle every day. We can plant more and more trees to increase the oxygen level uh, in the uh, nature's atmosphere. And and uh, there are many more such ways in which we can uh, solve this problem. So, uh, do we want to be part of the pollution or the solution? Let me uh, let me uh, know your answer. Uh, and this is all I wanted to talk to you about. Thank you. Good, Parvani. Good afternoon, sir. I am Defenasing Naik from 7Z. Today, I would like to speak about innovative solutions to environmental issues. The environmental plays a significant role to support human and animal life on Earth and future generations. Due to everyday activities of humans are constantly degrading the quality of the environment, which ultimately results in the loss of survival condition from the Earth. The main environmental issues which are causing damage to the life and the ecosystem of the earth are air pollution. Air pollution is a major issue in today's world. The smoke pouring out from the factories, automobiles and thermal power pollute the air that we breathe in. Gases like carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and sulfur dioxide mix with the air and cause great harm to human beings. Water pollution. Water pollution is one of the most serious environmental issue, the harmful chemicals present uh, in the chemicals released from the growing industries and sewage water are not treated properly before disposing into the rivers. Soil pollution. Soil is polluted by waste materials such as plastics, polythene, bottles, etc. It is a very dangerous aspect of environmental issue. It also uh, it also decreases the fertility of the land. The main, uh, the main solutions uh, for air pollution is hybrid vehicles and electric vehicles. And the main solution for water pollution is the harmful chemicals released from industries and sewage water should be treated properly before disposing them into the rivers. We should recycle plastic items instead of dumping them in the ground. Deforestation must be stopped and afforestation deforestation must be started. The government should make strict policies and allocate sufficient budget provisions on environmental issues, not only on development. Government should educate the people on environmental issues and provide sufficient institutes for higher studies. Private organizations should also contribute to environmental issues instead of making profit only. We should use we should use manure and compost instead of fertilizers. To control soil pollution, usage of plastic bags must be stopped. Every country should take responsibility instead of leading to be a global power. Firstly, the global leaders should concentrate in their manifesto on the root causes of environmental issues not only on development and instead of providing free, free schemes 
they should concentrate in their manifesto on the root causes of environmental issues. Government should educate the people on environmental issues and provide sufficient institutes for higher studies. We all should feel it as our own responsibility. Thank you. Good for Indra. Uh, next participant is Shorya Shivasta. Are you there, Shorya? Be a part of the solution, not of the pollution. Good morning to one and all present here. I am Shorya Shivasta from class 8Y. And I am here to present a short speech on environment. Our environment consists of all living beings as well as their surroundings. A healthy environment is one that is sustainable for a long period of time. It is the source of life for everyone. It directs the life of everyone and determines the proper growth and development. The, the good quality or bad quality of our life is depending on the quality of our natural environment. Our need for food, water, shelter and other things depend on the environment around us. There must be a balanced natural cycle that exists between the environment and the lives of human beings, plants and animals. There are many harmful of human activities on the envi environment. Some of these are pollution, pollution, waste disposal, climate change, global warming and the greenhouse effect, etc. The big reason that poses a serious threat to our environment is the harmful gases in the air. The, the uncontrolled use of automobiles has increased their effects, which in turn emits harmful gases like carbon monoxide. The electronic appliances like air conditioners and refrigerators also contaminating air. Also, everyone must do plantation of trees. The less use of private vehicles will reduce the emission of harmful gases as well as it will save the fuel resources. At the end, I would just like to say that we must spread environmental awareness in our society as well as in our daily routine life. It is necessary to save the pro it is necessary to save and protect our environment. In my view, it is the responsibility of everyone to do our bit for the environment. Therefore, let us work together towards a greener and more sustainable future. Thank you and have a great day. Sharia, great. Uh, next participant is Aditya. Greetings from the team. I am Aditya Dubey from class 8 Y. I am here to present my concern about global warming and I will provide some innovative solutions to our company. I would like to start with a quote by J James Hansen. Global warming isn't a prediction, it is happening. What is global warming? Global warming, or climate change as it's called, refers to long-term shifts in temperature and weather patterns. These shifts may be natural, but since the 1800s, human activities have been the main driver of climate change, primarily due to the burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil, or gas, which produce heat-trapping gases, also known as greenhouse gases, which include carbon dioxide, methane, etc. Why is this a concern? Warmer temperatures over time are changing weather patterns and disrupting the usual balance of nature. This possesses many risks to humankind and all other forms of life on Earth which call it home. Nearly all land areas are seeing warmer days and heat waves. 2020 was one of the hottest years on record. Changes in temperature cause changes in rainfall. This results in more severe and frequent storms. They cause flooding in landslides, destroying homes and communities and costing billions of dollars of damage. Water is becoming scarcer in many regions due to which people are dying in large numbers. Now let's turn to the innovative solutions. How can we control global warming? We can control global warming by a lot of things. By saving energy at home. Much of our electricity and heat is powered by coal, oil and gas. Many use, many, uh, use less energy uh, use, uh, uses by lowering the heating and cooling systems, switching to LEDs, and using energy efficient electric appliances, washing our laundry with cold water or hanging things to dry instead of using a dryer are many good solutions for saving energy at home. Walking, cycling or taking a public transport. The world's roads are clogged with vehicles, most of them burning diesel or petrol. Walking or riding a bike instead of driving will reduce greenhouse gas emissions and help your health and fitness. For longer distances, consider taking a train or a bus and carpool whenever possible. Considering your travel, 
aeroplanes burn large amounts of fossil fuels, producing significant uh, greenhouse gas emissions that makes making fluor flights one of the fastest ways to reduce your environmental impact when you can meet virtually, take a train or skip that long distance trip altogether. Reduce, reuse, repair and recycle. We have all heard about this in school, the 4R principle. Electronic clothes and other items that we use cause carbon emissions. Each point in production, from the extraction of raw materials to manufacturing and transporting goods to the market. To protect our climate, buy fewer things, shop secondhand, repair what you can and recycle. Changing your home's source of energy. We can ask our utility company if, you, if our home uh, energy comes from coal, oil or gas. If possible, we can switch to renewable sources such as wind or solar. Or we can install solar panels on our roofs to generate energy for our own homes. Now I would uh, want to prepare a roadmap for our ahead practices. In 2015, the Global Greenhouse Gas Emission Paris Agreement was adopted by the whole world. 2020 was our climate turning point when the climate became uh, very degraded and we started to decide to take care of it. By 2030, we are planning to meet all the targets of our 17 SDGs, our 17 Sustainable Development Goals and by 2050, we will reach the Zero Net Emission Goal. After, after At the last, I would like to take a pledge. I pledge to do my best to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by maximizing my energy efficiency and making good decisions. I pledge to be conscientious of the world around me because many living beings call it home. I pledge to take responsibility for my actions now in order to improve the world later. And I pledge to encourage my friends and family to make eco-friendly choices. Thank you and have a great day. Aditya, great. Our uh, next participant is Ruhi. Let's nurture the nature so that we can have a better future. Good morning everyone, my name is Ruhi Kara and today I am here to speak a few words on innovation such as any problem or environment. Earth and the resources of Earth make life possible on it. If we were to imagine life without them, it would be impossible. As life cannot function without sunshine, water, vegetation, etc. However, this is soon going to be our reality if we don't save the earth now. Human has become very selfish and is utilizing these resources at a rapid rate. Thus, we need to protect them in order to protect our lives. As it is said, earth provides enough to satisfy every man's need, but not every man's greed. The major sinister of our life like global warming water and air pollution, decreasing of biodiversity are threatening our world. Neglecting these issues will reach us nowhere. Instead, it will come back to us with more dreadful problems. With time, people make new inventions to fulfill their needs. But now we need innovation to change the revolution. That is, innovation solution is the remedy of many environmental problems. My favorite and the best Eco-friendly innovation product is bamboo utensils and equipment. Well, plastic utensils are not only really terrible for us but also for our environment and not at all earth-friendly products. Did you know that only 60 per, only 6% of all plastic can be recycled in India? Well, that's an awful number, and I believe that if more people do that. They would cut back the plastic consumption and would strive to more eco-friendly products. With that, if you want to avoid plastic, we must use reusable cloth bags, reusable bulk food bags, sustainable appliances, then we have stainless steel compostable bin liner. Next to it, we can use bird safe wind turbines. Wind turbines are likely to kill birds and bats as they collide in spinning blades. Thus, if we start using this bird safe wind turbine, we can save many lives. Secondly, we can use solar phone charger. We just have to put the charger on the sun and we are set. Next, low phosphate 
वाशिंग पाउडर मस्ट बी प्रमोटेड बिकॉज़ व्हेन फास्फेट गो इनटू द वाटर बॉडी इट किल्स मेनी एक्वेटिक एनिमल्स नेक्स्ट द लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट एंड आल्सो माय फेवरेट इनोवेशन प्रोडक्ट इज इको फ्रेंडली डेट व्हिच इज मेड अप ऑफ रिसाइकल्ड वुड एंड प्लास्टिक environmental issues are warning of upcoming disaster if they are not controlled now there will soon be no life on earth thus we should protect them we should save them and remember the world we have created is process of our thing, and it cannot be changed without changing our thing. so lastly i would like to conclude by saying if you want to know the world first know yourself if you want to change the world First change yourself. Thank you. Rohi, great. Our next participant is uh, Rudra. Before starting anything, it is very important to know what is innovation. Innovation is the art, science, or process of converting existing invention and ideas into practical products or service that create and can be used every day in everyday life. One of the day-to-day -day simplest example is electric bulb was an invention, but LED bulbs are innovations. Innovation has taught us that the true sign of intelligence is not the knowledge but imagination. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sudhir Kard, and today I am standing before you to speak a few words on innovation solution to environmental issues. As already spoken about innovation. Now let us understand how innovative solutions has helped us solving environmental problems. The world is facing some major environmental problems like pollution, global warming, waste disposal, deforestation, and ozone layer depletion. Eco innovation results in reducing emissions and waste. Accordingly, eco innovations create a positive environmental benefit along with economic savings. Business methods, products, and processes that decrease environmental impacts lead to a reduced ecological print. Examples of eco innovations are renewable energy sources, energy recovery from solid waste, eco products, and several types of management systems. The best sustainable products and inventions are hippo water roller, water treatment plant. Renewable bags, reusable bags, red cube, red uh, recycled cell phones, waste water into drinking water. Why to go so far? In last few years, a noticeable change has been seen in Anushakti Nagar. E-vehicle charging points, use of solar panels, reusing treated water for gardening, biogas plant, and incinerator for the management and vertical garden has made the colony clean and green. Now we can probably say that we are moving towards innovation for solving environmental problems in CC and simple methods. Lastly, I would like to conclude by saying the earth is what we have in common. Progress is impossible without change and those who cannot change their minds cannot change anything. So be innovative and have a great day. Thank you and have a nice day. Very good Rudra. With this we end the 8th standard. Now I request uh, Durva are you there? My name is Durva Lakshmi Chavan. I am from class 6 to our store number 26. My topic is water conversion. Yeah, go ahead, try, try. Good. Dhruva, go ahead. The next world war will be over water. Is there really a water crisis? Over 1 billion people lack access to safe water. Out of 2 out of 3 people will be living with water shortage by 2050. Half of the world wetlands have been lost since 19,000. The base for most projects for the future conflicts is that the that with the growth of demand, the decline in fresh water availability and the advised health effects 
from poor water quality scarcity will re result in violence the water war in 100% water 97.5% so there is salty water and 2.5% percent fresh water in 2.5 percent fresh water there is 70 percent of ice and snow covered on mountain regions and 0.3 is fresh water in lakes and rivers and 30 percent groundwater less than 3 percent of the world's water is fresh the rest is sea water and undrinkable this 3% over 2.5% is frozen, locked up in Antarctica and Arctic and glaciers and not able to man uh, in our India. The groundwater has gone very deep and surface water is polluted with garbage and other gases. Air wa uh, rainfall water has been got wasted. In this Solution is solution to water problems requires the condition of agriculture, educational, communication and scientific except plant, tree, avoid pollution, conserve water, technology and innovation. And my opinion is to rain to do rainwater harvesting, ingrid water management. Construct dams. Thank you. I have a nice day. Very good, Durva. I, I truly appreciate your effort to prepare this presentation. It's a great work. Thank you, sir. With this, we end our session. So, may I now call upon one of our esteemed judges, uh, Sri VP Vagi, sir, to motivate our students with uh, his kind words, sir, please. Good afternoon to all of you. Most of the children, most of them, Majority of them tried to come up to our expectations and they have done a lot of effort. Some of them have really done a lot of good research on the topic using whatever available sources, whether internet or books or the knowledge of their parents. Knowledge of their parents, that is one treasure that all children fall upon whenever they require. So it was a wonderful experience to sit and listen to all these future leaders and uh, the great men and women of the future India. We have a lot of expectations in you. That's why I say the great men and women of future India. It was very nice to see. Uh, one or two points I think uh, I can tell you and share with you to make at least some improvement in your future uh, speech competitions, elocutions. One is, try to be, uh, try to do 100% justice to the topic. Here the given topic is innovative solutions to environmental issues or problems. Many of you are wasting a lot of time uh, for explaining these uh, problems. Here the main focus has to be the solution. So instead of using more time for explaining the problems or the environmental issues that we face today, you can focus more on the solutions and you can say for example you can say this is an issue an environmental issue for this issue what is the innovative solution you are suggesting after that you can go to the second issue and what is the innovative solution you are suggesting like that an issue a solution an issue a solution like that you can present it giving more stress on the Solution. Issues are there and everyone knows the issue. Solutions, that is the most difficult part. And that is what we want to see, whether you are presenting or not. 
So that kind of an approach will be uh, helpful to keep you tracked on the, you know, to help you to concentrate on the topic so that you will be able to do 100% justice to the given topic. And uh, most of you were uh, not giving that much attention to this way of presenting it and tackling the topic that I felt. Of course, I'm not blaming you. You are a sixth standard child, seventh standard child, eighth standard child, I know. But see, we teachers, we always try to take you to the perfection. Even though we know that that perfection is impossible. Because perfection is an impossibility. We are striving to reach there. And some of the parents have helped to their children. I am so happy to see that. Don't think that we are angry about it. We are so happy to see that arranging the mic and the uh, computer, camera and uh, helping them. And uh, in fact, we could even hear your prompting also when some words were spoken and some uh, little brother was also trying to help the sister in his own language and uh, way. But whenever you try to participate in a competition, uh, the background noise should not be there because that will unnecessarily uh, take the attention of the judges and the listeners to the other speakers. So, the, so what you are trying to communicate may not be heard well. So these are the suggestions. And the remaining suggestions, I think, uh, we will discuss when we will see face to face. Because in the classroom, almost on an everyday basis, uh, these eighth standard children, they are coming face to face with me. And sometime, I will come to eighth also and the other junior classes also. Okay? And you can interact with us also freely whenever we see in the school. No need to wait till I come to your class. You are always... Welcome. So that's all. So I wish you a wonderful uh, good afternoon. I know you are hungry, waiting for food. So that's what. Okay, bye. Uh, okay, thank you, Vagi sir. Uh, now I request uh, Agita ma'am to share her valuable views. Ma'am, please. Okay, good afternoon, dear children. I'm so happy to see these 13 children. Actually, I do understand that because 13 children are the participants. Some of them gave the names and they did not come. And these 13 children really, you, you have to be congratulated. Whether you get the prize or not, that is immaterial. Out of 360 students, that is, uh, means almost 360 students, 3 classes, 7 and 8. 360 students, these 13 came forward. I'm very, very happy about it. Now, the competitions are com conducted for you people and if you don't participate in that, there is no meaning for this. We are really helpless. We can't do anything if you don't cooperate with us, if you don't participate. However, we are, uh, these, uh, all these competitions are to, it is conducted to bring out your talents, your inner talents. So, please do cooperate in the forthcoming competitions also. And uh, I am very happy to know that um, for uh, listening to all these teachers were very nice, especially the concerns of Aditya Dube. We also share the same concern, Aditya. So let us hope that there will be some solution for this. And uh, the, uh, as uh, Rudra said, mindset of the people has to change. We have to recycle them. and I was so much carried away by the uh, suggestion of a recycled phones and uh, Ru Ruby's solar mobile charger and the utensils made of, of uh, bamboo. Really, I am very happy to hear that. Uh, let us hope that in future uh, we will, when uh, Ruby and Rudra or Abhisya or anyone of these people, they become a scientist and they will bring innovations and they will uh, help the uh, earth to take a breath, a breath which is pure, which is not polluted. Thank you, children. Very nicely you all have prepared. You really need a class. Uh, thanks a lot, ma'am. Uh, now I express uh, my sincere gratitude to the esteemed judges. Uh,
and students who have enthusiastically participated in this competition. I hope uh, the issues and solutions that you have explored in your speeches will guide us to a cleaner and more sustainable nation. Thank you. Thank you all.